Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So at the end of last year I made a video on PCS621.60 MGS3 Snake Eater showing you how you guys can run the game easily with the best settings on PC. Now unfortunately at the time I wasn't aware of the nightly build or that the game has a better version called Subsistence and today's video is going to be on Metal Gear 3 Subsistence and how you guys can play it on PC easily. So why choose MGS3 Subsistence over Snake Eater? It's actually really simple. It's the major differences and improvements that make it much better than Snake Eater. The main one is now the 360 degree fully rotatable camera which is way better than the original fixed angle camera or the one that is always above Snake's head. And if you want the original one you can simply click on R3 also known as right thumb button and get it back. Other than that, you get a much more better in-game uh, demo theater which allows you to view the cutscenes and some new content making it much more enjoyable. Now on the specifications part, I'm going to be honest about one thing, a lot of people have this misconception for emulators that you need a heavy end gaming system which is totally wrong. I played the entire game on these specifications, i5 4th gen, a 750Ti 2GB DDR5, 16GB DDR3 RAM on 1080p solid 60fps. Now if you want the lowest specs that can perfectly handle the emulator and the game, you require at least a 3rd gen CPU, a 2GB DDR5 GD730 and 8GB DDR3 RAM. This should easily run the game 720p at solid 60fps. Now to be able to run the game at 60fps you will need a 60fps patch and luckily patches are available for both the PAL version and the NTSC version. You can simply enable it from settings tab like this. And also enable the widescreen patch so you can run it on 16x9 ratio rather than the 4x3 original ratio. And now to the settings part for the game. Now this is the best thing about PCS62 Nightly. You don't have to configure anything on your own, it's automatic. You may just choose the resolution from settings and it's all done. Okay, so once again a small recap for what you will be needing. First, the PCS62 emulator, the PS2 BIOS, and the ROM or the game from Vim's Lair, PS2 Vault. Patches, BIOS, and emulator are all in my link in the pinned comment. I say again, in the pinned comment, not in description. You guys can easily get it from there. I hope this video will be helpful to you and if you face any problems or have any questions let me know in the comments below and I'll reach out as soon as possible. Now if you're new to the channel kindly consider subscribing, it's free and you may change your mind anytime. I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the video, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. of the Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a fitting death at all. The boss's apprentice. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time. For you to feel the fear. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 